I built this chicken tractor earlier in the year, and because of chicken math, I already need to build another one. I love almost everything about it, but this time I want to do things a little bit differently, and because I love a good challenge, and because I'm incredibly frugal, I want to build it almost entirely from free and recycled materials. I've walked around the farm and gathered up every board I could find that might work for this project. Now some of this is scrap that's left over from another project, some of it is um, where we've done some renovation type stuff in the barn, it's taken, you know, it's barn wood left over from that. It's as anything that's of the right length, I brought it here and made a pile of it, cleaned it up the best, best that I can. Now I have made a sketch, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a build plan or um, you know, cut sheet or anything like that. It's just something that helps me visualize what I'm trying to do. This is not about having a perfect chicken tractor or A-frame chicken coop. This is about using what I have to build something that we need and therefore uh, reserve the right to change this at, at any moment. Now that last chicken tractor that I built was incredibly heavy and I'm trying to cut weight on this build. Since we have to mill these boards up, we can cut them to whatever thickness we want. I'm kind of shooting for between three and five inches instead of you know, a two by four is three and a half, we'll go down to two. Uh, two by six is five and a half, we'll go down to five. We can do whatever we want. Again, we can change it at any moment if we find that we have to, but it's time to go to the table saw and do what we need to do there. This is the first time I'm getting to use my table saw since I added this little owl feed table to it. This was my old workbench before I built this nice new one that I have, and uh, I got tired of having, you know, outfeed feed problems on this little bitty table saw of mine. So this works out nice. I was buying new lumber, all of these bottom boards, anything that would be in contact with the ground, I would be buying pressure treated lumber. Now, I'm not buying anything, so what I have on hand is just gonna have to do. Is it gonna hold up as long as pressure treated wood? No, probably not, but that's a compromise that I'm making. I am a big proponent of measure twice, cut once, but instead of using this opportunity to practice cutting angles and uh, bird's mouth and everything that I need to make um, one of these roof pieces, slanted roof pieces, I decided to just wing it and kind of fit it up there, measured the best of my ability. Didn't work out perfectly, but you know, even though I'm sacrificing probably a couple inches of headroom in this thing, I don't think the chickens are going to mind all that much and it's going to work which is the most important thing, expelling minimal brain power in this instance so we can just keep on rocking and rolling. Got nine more of these to batch out. I'm using a waterproof glue. This is tight bond number three to hold those lap joints on the door together. I don't have a whole lot of material thickness for a screw to really get a good bite in there. And I am gonna reinforce this with some plywood gussets. That glue, I don't know, helped me feel a little bit better. The last thing you want is a rickety door. Nothing makes a project feel chintzy and cheap like a door that's got too much slop in it, you know. Don't wanna do any of that. So maybe the glue will help, we'll see. So because I'm trying to buy like basically nothing to get this chicken coop built, I've been going back and forth in my mind on what I need to do to um, basically what I can salvage or scrape together to do the horizontal, I guess you'd call them lathing strips across um, across the, the A's, the rafters. I don't know. I don't know what you call anything on this. I guess you'd call them a, a rafter or a joist. Either way, what am I going to use to hold the uh, the roofing and the hardware cloth 
to um, you know to that structure. Well, it just so happens that a couple weeks ago I picked up a whole bunch of busted up fence panels from my buddy Travis at Trav and Jay Outdoors YouTube channel. His old fence got torn up in a tornado, and of course when he asked, uh, "Does anybody want these uh, fence panels?" Sure, absolutely. Pressure treated. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I've got a couple ideas, and I think I can use some of these uh, panels, the actual pickets or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to rip them in half, and we're going to use those because it just so happens they're eight feet long, and it should work out perfectly. Plugging away off camera, I was told if you can't think and work, then just work, so I've been working. What I decided to do down here at the bottom was to go with kind of an apron of uh, hardware cloth. I had some that was scrap, uh, I'd cut something wrong in a different spot, so we're gonna put that down here. It's probably not gonna be permanent, but what I wanted to do was only have to use one three foot section of roofing on the back of this thing. So the main objective with it is to block wind driven rain, um, that, you know, basically just keeping the birds a little drier whenever they're up on their roost. And of course, keeping in the spirit of just use whatever we have laying around here, making do to build this thing. I was able to use one small scrap piece of beat up tin on the back of this thing. So uh, put it up there, one square, cut it uh, diagonal, and then I was able to put the other side up and it worked out well enough. And so with two feet of hardware cloth, three feet of roofing, it just left a small gap at the top, covered it up with some hardware cloth, if, you know for what this is just call it ventilation like i said i did go ahead and put the roosting bars in here i'll show you that at the end to finish this thing out we've got to put the roofing on and then the door and we can take this to the field so i feel like i'm kind of hitting the lottery today i had good luck there in the back of the thing but i pulled some metal off the pile and it turns out i can do this entire side without having to cut anything it saves a little bit of time sometimes it's better to be lucky than good finished product and really I could not be more happy with what we were able to build here today. With the parameters that we had in place trying to build this completely from free and recycled materials, aside from the wheels, uh, the hinges and the latches and kind of the hardware type things, we were able to build this thing for free and I, I don't think we could have built it if, if it wasn't for free. I hope this goes to show you it doesn't take a ton of money to build something that's functional. No, this isn't a Cadillac of chicken coops and maybe the most perfect and secure one that you'll ever build, but for our purposes and you know, for what we need, maybe for what you need as well, this is gonna work great. 
some of the things I love about it, when compared to the one we built before, this one is so much more lightweight and maybe as a downside of that, it might not hold up in a stiff wind quite as well as the other one does. Time will tell, we've had some, I wouldn't call them strong storms or anything, but we've had some and I haven't had to worry about it since we've been using it for the, the past couple of weeks now. But just when you consider the ease of moving it, yeah, it's super lightweight and I am tickled. It's also a little larger than the other coupe. The other one is six foot by eight foot. This one has that eight foot by eight foot base. So a little bit more room for birds uh, to move around throughout the day. We've got 13 layers in here right now. It's got more roof space. That extra square footage is gonna pay off and the pastures are still looking great. We're not focusing all that manure down in as small of an area. I guess 48 versus 64 square feet, whoopity do. I'm happy with what we're doing. And if you're on the fence about building a chicken tractor and whether or not it's right for you, for me, the proof is in the pudding. These birds look incredibly healthy. Our pastures are looking better. Uh, consider me a convert. I love this method. If, if you have the means of rotating the birds in plenty of space and, and pastures and a multi-species farm, I guess, this is the way to go. If, if you're on the fence at all about it, I could not recommend it more. The main thing I've noticed that I don't love, and I don't think it's any fault of the design or the construction of the tractor, where it's eight feet wide now, there's no center wheel on that back. So when you pick the tractor up to move it, it can kind of get bound up if there's a hump, uh, something for that thing to grab a hold of. Is it the end of the world? No, you just kind of pull on it a little harder and you know, not super comfortable doing that. So we'll probably try to come up with some way to support that center section and help it to roll a little better. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. And one more thing I'm almost certain I'm gonna go back and do eventually, where our rafters come in and meet that center joist, I wanna support that, reinforce that with a plywood gusset, some construction adhesive and some screws. That'll help this thing where it might try to rack a little bit. I haven't had a problem with it yet, but that'll definitely reinforce some things. Could do it down here in the bottom as well. Not as worried about that, especially since uh, grass and stuff will catch on a reinforcement if I used a piece of plywood there. Again, not the end of the world, uh, but I'll probably will do that at the top at least. I've already come to realize I'm gonna have to build another coop and I'm not sure if it's gonna be the next one I build or just somewhere down the road, but I'm almost decided I'm gonna build one on an old wagon running gear. I'm gonna find an old one, a used one, and just use it as a blank slate, build a chicken castle. Something I can hook up to a four wheeler or a side by side or a tractor. It's not gonna be something that I can pull around by hand, but I want to build a fortress that will hold all of the chickens. If that's something you want to see, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about what I did here or anything else that we're doing here on the farm, be sure to put them down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this video and for watching our channel. My name's Reagan. This is the GWP Homestead. We'll see y'all soon.